assalamu alaikum welcome back to the new vlog and travelog part 2 as i promised that i will show you the balcony view in the morning so this is the view it was so refreshing and then we had our breakfast uh, milk bread and some egg then we were dressed up and come to the lobby and this is the view of the lobby there was book rack books rooms furniture where anybody can sit and have a cup of tea and gossip we had kept our luggage and heads towards our next location this was the location for new adventure so let's see new day and new mountain to climb up so we sat in the train to reach to the top of the mountain this was also a good experience having a train ride in the middle of mountains trees and flowing river this was an amazing view we loved it and enjoyed it a lot everyone was enjoying the train ride and busy in capturing videos and photos to have a memory of this memorable trip Now you enjoy the beautiful scenery of the mountains, rivers, water shores in the upcoming shots that I have captured for you. Uh, I know it's not as real as it was in real but have a look. I'm sure you must have enjoyed the beautiful scenery and this was the train that we had arrived in. Our train ride is over. Now it's time to hike down the mountain. Although uh, it was a long track but we enjoyed it a lot. You guys must be wondering what this mountain called but this mountain name in Chinese is San Chulun. Here our Sun Chulun mountain hike will come to an end and here we all were resting for a while and ready to go to our next destination. Now we have reached to that area where 1960 and 1970s life of China exists and by that I mean we have arrived to one of the museum of China. Especially Jiangxi province. This area is full of history that depicts the life of Chinese people back in 1960s and 1970s. We had a chance to see their paperwork in offices. In this part of the video, you will see the utensils that they used back then in their life their furniture, their teapots, their construction utensils as well. As China is also an Asian country, so our culture and Chinese culture is very similar to each other and we uh, all have such kind of utensils in our home as well, those ancient pots. So I found it very relatable. The interesting part of it is that we not only found the daily usage material but also found musical instruments. The pictures on the walls also shows their uh, life back then in 1960s and 1970s. <laughs> This 
was it for the museum part and now let's get ready for the next destination. Here comes another mountain to hike in and this mountain is known as Pangshin Luobotan which is also known as the first waterfall in the south of Yangtze river which is a famous river in China. This was the second day of the trip so we had a whole day to explore Jiangxi province. We climbed two mountains, one museum, we got a little tired but it was an amazing experience. We enjoyed it a lot. we have achieved our target it was so hot so it's time to have a chilled ice cream and it was so yum that's it for today we are so tired now we just need a bed to have some rest so we have a new room at Tangli resort so this is a room let me give you a room tour so this is a cupboard and all the accessories that they had provided in this room when you open the room door so on the right side we have a mirror and a closet then we have uh, electric kettle coffee mugs and on the left side we have two bed because it's also a shared room and a beautiful window a study table each and everything was over there This is our washroom. As it was our last night of our trip and the resort was also so beautiful, the view was amazing. So we decided to go outside and explore the resort and we came to know some beautiful areas of the resort that was full of lights, colorful lights and we enjoyed it. Wait, see this. This was a moon, but it's not a natural moon. And uh, the resort had made it artificially. And this was amazing. This reminded me that song. Tere vaaste falak se main chand launga. So this was it and the view was amazing. I know I have said it so many times but trust me this is my true feelings for the view. That's it for today. I will catch you in the third part of the travel log. Till then, stay blessed and a love face.